Hello, this is Steve from Beto's Leatherworks. Today's project is, we're gonna change it up a little bit today. These cool Louis Vuitton pumps. All right, so these are fairly new shoes, right? Customer had these sole guards put on. It's not too bad, it could have been a little better, but it's not bad, I've seen a lot worse. Now, there's the problem is with, with this one here, I'm assuming that the heel fell off, right? Sometimes these high heels, they do come loose and you've got to be able to put it back. Now, whoever did this didn't do a very good job, unfortunately. You've got lots of crazy glue on the edges here to try to seal that edge a little better than what it was, I'm assuming. Now, I'm, I'm okay. Well, I'm not really okay with that, but the worst is that the heel was not put in, put in the proper place. It's too far back. So if you look at these two, let's see if I can give you a comparison. It's not in a proper place on this one. It's sitting too far back. Now that's going to that's gonna make a difference in the way that it, it feels when you're walking. You see, when you put pressure on, it's not, the pressure is not right underneath the ball of your heel, right? It's way to the back and it's not gonna feel right. It's gonna feel off. So unfortunately, these when they're when you got to put them back in on the shoe it's got to be put in the proper place or it's not going to work very well so that's the reason the customer brought these in for this issue now i don't usually work on these heels uh, broken heels heels that come apart so please don't send me jobs like this i, I don't do this type of work uh, this is my achilles heel unfortunately i don't know why i'm not comfortable with doing this type of work but i just don't do it um why did i take these in well he's a good customer and and said that you know, obviously, our wife's favorite shoes, and we gotta we gotta see what we can do. Now, the problem is going to be that we can remove the heel and try to put it back in the proper place, but unfortunately, that glue that they use looks like some so, some sort of a super glue that's damaged the the material on the LV. Once you remove that, that material is damaged. There's not much you can do with that. You can't hide that. So we, we came up with this uh, idea. It was his idea, not my idea. Um, he said there's another style of Louis Vuitton, Louis Vuitton shoes that they have the patent leather in the back and also the heels on patent leather. Now, that might work because I can use the piece of patent leather to cover that damaged area. So we're going to remove this heel, both heels. We're going to add a patent leather cover in the back, just like where you see I marked. And then recover the heels and then put the heels back. And she should have a new pair of shoes. Uh, the new ones are almost a thousand dollars, I believe, in these shoes. This particular job is around four hundred dollars, and um, I think once it gets done, I think she'll be good to go. Now these heels, they come in different shapes, different styles, different sizes. Um, some come with a leather veneer, which make it look like wood stacks. Some are leather covered, which is this Valentina right here. Now the problem with these thin leathers is that. It's a very thin leather and they do tear. It's very common on the ladies' high heels that this happens. Sometimes some people will recover this. Sometimes if it's not too bad, we'll glue it down. We'll touch it up a little bit. Now inside that heel block, you have this metal post. It's a tube, which gives that structural support, okay? And into those tubes, these little lifts are installed. I'm trying to look through the camera. There you go. Now, when these wear down, you've got to get these replaced, ladies. And unfortunately, this is about maybe three-eighths of an inch, a little less than three-eighths of an inch. You don't have that much to wear. Halfway mark, when you start wearing that, the metal is going to start showing. Okay, you got to replace them. Once the metal starts showing, it's going to be slippery and it's going to get dangerous. So get those replaced. Now, again, these come in different sizes, different styles, different colors. Let's see, I had a, I had a different color here or somewhere. They come in, they come in, um, they come in, I think, tan. They come in black. They come in brown. They, there's all sorts of, all sorts, they come in pink. So when that wears out, have that replaced. Some places, um, some shops charge $10. Some places charge $15, $20, $24, depending on the shape. See how this is in pretty bad shape. I think this was like a $60 job just to, re to replace that tip and then clean up all the leather and retouch up the color. So depending on how worse, how bad the, the problem is, it's going to cost you more money to get it fixed. 
the basic just repairs. For basic top lifts, for little tips here, we charge $18. All right, so I think this is, uh, once it gets done, I think it'll be a pretty good shoe. So, all right, let's get started. So I've got my I've got my blue watch on. I've got my brown belt on. And I've got my black boots on. <laughs> I'm all left up today. <laughs> you know what? It's okay. The watch still tells the time. The belt still keeps your pants up. And you got shoes on your feet. It's okay that they're a different color. Not all the time, but sometimes I'll give a break. All right, let's tear these suckers off. A couple screws and a couple nails are in there. Oh, that's why the heel's broken here. Mm hmm. Now the truth comes out. Well, that's not really good. We don't want the heel to be broken. Man, they put a lot of crazy glue on this thing. Hmm. Wow. It's not really necessary to put all that crazy glue. Well, the heel is broken, all right, and that's not good news right there. See that crack right there? I'll show you guys a little better once I take it apart. There's no way I can reuse these heels now. Now this boasts another problem where I've got to find a heel that's in. Look at that. Man, there's no way we can reuse that heel now. <laughs> oh, Lord. See, this is the reason why I don't do these jobs. <laughs> oh, Lord. Now, good luck finding a heel that's that shape. That angle, that angle, that width, oh, that width right here, that shape. Oh. I don't think let's continue is in order in this one. Well, now we've got a task of trying to look for a heel like that to replace both of them. As you guys can see, it's just not the same. You see this angle right here? It's not the same. This angle is not bad, actually. The height is not bad. It's just this is way too thick here compared to that there. It's going to change the whole look of the shoe. And that's what we don't want to do change the, you know, we can change the style of it, but not not structurally, visually, you know, what the heel used to look like. But I don't know. We're, you know, my hopes were 
you know, getting this job, starting and finish it today, that's not going to happen. This came to abrupt halt because I've got to find something to match that. All right, let's, I guess let's continue. All right, so the donor shoes arrived. This was a cheap old Steve Madden. This one, I don't even know what the hell this is. I can't, I can't see it. So after taking this one apart, this was a major fail, did not work. Now, most of the heels that you're looking at, whether it's Louis Vuitton or Steve Madden, your basic heel is the same heel, whether it's Louis Vuitton or this cheaper brand. They're both made out of plastic. They both carry the metal tube for support. And um, really, there's no difference in one or the other except for the style and the shape, of course. So this was a fail, okay? Now, my hopes were on this one here. The shoe's done. My hopes were on this pair here. So I took one apart. After, after adjusting, shortening, I think we have a winner. Now, this needs to go inward a little bit so it can carry the weight of the foot. If it's too far behind or if it's too far inward, then she's not gonna get the proper support. I think, we got a, I think we got a winner here. Now we can continue with the project where I can go ahead and wrap the back of the heel and then wrap the heel and then reassemble everything back together. Now we are going to, we are going to have to adjust the sole, you see that? Because remember, this shape here, okay, is a little bit different than this shape here. It varies a little bit, a little bit, not much. The width of it is very nice. I got very lucky on that. And then once we, uh, once we finish everything here, this would be the last piece to be glued down. And then we'll semi-glue it. We'll mark the edges here, trim it first, finish the edges, glue it, put our tip in, and we are done. I gotta tell you, man, sometimes jobs just, just don't work out, you know? And I think in my mindset, I approach this job not in a positive way because knowing that I don't particularly care about this type of job, I think it had a little bit of effect on my psyche when I was working on it. So always be positive, always before, during, and after you do the job. Well, I'm positive now. Before, eh, so-so. All right, let's continue.
Okay, now we have the back piece cut, curved, hem the edges. Now, before a shoe is assembled with the what you call the um, footbed, all the patterns are stitched on. This, for example, this would have been stitched on. Now that it's assembled around the footbed, I'm not going to take that apart. Okay, what I'm going to do because we're not going to be able to stitch the piece all the way to the bottom here because of the footbed and it won't fit in the machine. So what we're going to do is we're going to stitch on the sides of this piece before we glue it on to the shoe. And then once we glue it onto the shoe, we're going to continue from that spot, stitch on the rest of the shoe connecting to the other side stitch. So when you're looking at a visual, it looks like one single stitch. But in actuality, this is stitched about an inch on each side, just on the leather. It's glued on, and from that point to that point, it's stitched to the shoe. I'm not going to take the shoe apart. That's not what was in the plans, unfortunately. So, all right. And I think uh, once it gets done, you'll never know that it was done that way. Unless I tell you, which I just did. Now you know. All right, let's continue. That was a special that we did. Okay. That was no charge. It's on the house. That's your that's the early Christmas present. Yeah, I really like to pay. You, so. I, I'm really glad that you can take them. <laughs> it's okay. Don't worry. About it. Yeah, next time. Don't worry about it. It's all good. It's all good. All right. Take care, bud. a job that was a job and a half that I was dying and it took forever to match the color I'm just glad it is gone <laughs> you can just take it please Too bad. It is at 100%. Oh, some wrinkles here and there. But much better than what it was. At least we salvaged it and she can wear it now. All right, let's continue. All 
All right, welcome back. We're done with another project. Now, they didn't turn out too bad. I uh, would give them maybe like a six out of 10 scale, to my eyes anyway. Um, bottom line is that they are presentable, wearable, and the customer is gonna be happy that she got her shoes back and she can wear them for many years to come. All right, well, thank you for joining me. Um, if you haven't subscribed, please do so. Um, thumbs up, um, share, comment, we'd greatly appreciate it. It kind of keeps the channel going. And we've got lots of videos ahead uh, for you guys. You just have to be patient because I am loaded again with work and we're catching up as best as we can. All right, we'll see you guys again on the next project. Take care.